Hey out there. So I'm in my hometown of Union Beach, New Jersey. Now I don't live in this town right now. I have a couple houses here. I live one town over, but Union Beach holds a special place in my heart. This is where I grew up. I spent my first 21, 22 years here. That's the beach over there. You got Manhattan right over there. I guess I thought about making this video when I went down to the Brown House earlier and saw how much of an improvement sealing that driveway was. Like it took one five gallon bucket of driveway sealer to make that look so nice. I started thinking about Union Beach. I guess in a selfish way, I got property here, so improving Union Beach in general will improve my property values. But there's nothing wrong with my selfish motives aligning with Union Beach's motives. And I think I, think I know what their motives are. Let's make Union Beach a destination town. Let's have New York and you know Pennsylvania and other people from, from North Jersey and stuff like that say, you know what? When, when they're picking out what town to come to, let's go to Union Beach. They got that, that beach, that free beach, and it's beautiful. The people are nice there. They got those little quaint stores there. I don't think they're saying that right now, but it's so close. Union Beach is so close to getting to that spot. So I started thinking after I saw the driveway this morning about what could be done in Union Beach that either doesn't cost any money or very little money where you're gonna get the most bang for your buck. You see the flags that are there along the walkway? Some of them say the best little town in New Jersey. Welcome to Union Beach. They go all up and down. How about putting some rainbow flags in there? It is the LGBTQIA plus community month this month. How about putting up some rainbow flags and sending a message out to that community as well as everybody? You know, we're inclusive and we want you to come to our town. We'd love for you to come to our town. And we don't have to say this in the message, but we can say, and while you're here, stop by our restaurants and stores and help support us. How about implementing some sort of a tax or something on homes that are vacant or just really nasty looking? I'm not gonna mention any houses. I'm not a big fan of having a big brother in my business. I'm really, I'm not. So when I just said what I said about some kind of an incentive or a consequence for somebody keeping their house nice, I don't know, maybe it could be done in such a way where there could be like a, uh, a monthly lottery. Who, biggest improvement in the house. You're going to get $1,000 off your property taxes this month. Or how about people that have their houses vacant? There's houses, there's quite a few houses in Union Beach that have been vacant ever since Superstorm Sandy. Almost 10 years ago, I think it's 9 years now. 9 years ago, Superstorm Sandy came through, demolished a lot of houses in this town. And there's still a bunch that have to be renovated, raised, or knocked down. And here they are, nine years later. How could that be? I showed you guys that house a couple weeks ago. I forget what it's selling for, but I think it's like eight hundred or, or more, $800,000 or more. And then right next to them is this vacant lot that has like a 1960s cruiser just sitting in it, vacant. And you got this other vacant lot here just gathering dust. Try not to be too critical, but as you drive around Union Beach, you don't have to go too far to see something that's abandoned, dilapidated. That's the American Legion building right there. And that sits next to, this was once a store. And it's been vacant for, it possibly could have been vacant before Superstorm Sandy. So we're talking over 10 years vacant. Now, Union Beach has improved. Uh, it, it's improved more than it's gone down downhill. You see those houses down there? They've all been rebuilt. They've been raised. And it looks like you're in this beach community in South Jersey. Beautiful. And then you have this house. It's been sitting again, either since Sandy or before Sandy. So we're talking at least 10 years this house has been vacant, just sitting here next to these houses that are rebuilt and beautiful. What could be done about a house like that? You know, besides the tight streets that are here, the majority of these houses have been built. I don't want to make it sound like all I'm doing is knocking Union Beach, because I'm not. I love this little town. 
shown you what some people have done with their houses and they're beautiful. Could there be some kind of a, uh, I don't know, let's call it a consequence on a vacant house that the town could impose? Like, I don't know, $250 a month, every month that goes by that your house is vacant and it's not being improved or I don't know how you would word it. No CO on a house, vacant house, $250 per month. Your property taxes are going up. Something like that to incentivize these people to get rid of their houses. Yeah, that creates something interesting to me. Somebody's going to have an incentive to sell the house. It doesn't have to be for me. It could be for, for anybody else that wants to come in here and, and get a town and make it get, get a piece of property and make it beautiful. This place is for sale. Hanley's Anchor and it's been here forever. I was never sure when the place was open. I think it was only open like two or three days a week. Is there potential there? Absolutely. It's a pizza place with a liquor license. I'm given all these suggestions on how homeowners in Union Beach could be incentivized to make the town better, but you know, it's a give and take kind of a situation. So like that restaurant that's for sale, Hanley's Anchor Inn, I wonder what kind of incentives a town could give to somebody to come in and make that beautiful. Hey, listen, let me give you a tax abatement for three, four, five years or lower your property taxes. Or how about we'll start with when you go to the building department. <laughs> Don't get me started on the building department here. <laughs> they're gonna be professional and they're gonna be willing to work with you because we know you're trying to make this town even better. I almost bought that place about a year, year and a half ago. Two units. They have a uh, retail, it used to be a restaurant down below, and then, you know, residential upstairs. And I mean, I got the appraisal done, I was going to move forward, and then the sellers on this property then revealed to me that the town was requiring them to come up with, I don't know, twenty or $30,000 site work that wasn't even included, and the budget was already tight. So here it sits vacant still. This thing has been vacant. I'm just, it's got to be 15 years. Across the street is a liquor store, Keller's Liquors. Is a liquor store going to bring people into the area? <laughs> if you drink like I used to drink, hell yeah. However, you don't know when Keller's is going to open. Here it is, 10 o'clock. It's not open. It's not just a liquor store. It could be a lot more. Where am I going with all this? I'm going here. <laughs> If the general consensus in this town is that we don't care, then what's the incentive for people to open up on time, fix up their properties, make this into something like great? What's the incentive? So, maybe I'll throw my hat in to be like mayor one of these days. Tell me what you think. Ask not what Union Beach can do for you. Ask what you can do for Union Beach. <laughs> Till next time.